Hello guys, I hope everyone he's doing good. And welcome on another Warframe video. Today's video is about a frame I like a lot, Necros. This Warframe is pretty amazing, he can do a lot of things. Even if usually players pick him for more loots, he can do a lot more. And I hope, after this video, you gonna play it more. Because I don't see a lot of Necros those times. He is just very good in any kind of defense missions, or survivals. Today I'm gonna show you my build, how he synergize with himself, and why Necros is so damn good. First, how it works. That's pretty simple, you kill enemies, and you hit your 4 for resurrect those enemies. That's for the basic. We gonna see every ability together. So, his one is Soul Punch. That ability make damage on the target, and that turn the enemies into a bullet. Not so useful ability, nothing more to say about that. His 2 is, Terrify. That ability is useful when you are in really trouble, for example when the enemies are near the cryopod on Hydran, and they gonna destroy it. You can hit your 2, for making run the enemies. That means they feared, and they run everywhere, and they can't attack while they are feared. Sometimes when you use this ability, in the wrong way, people are complaining. Use it properly. His 3 is why we all playing Necros, that ability allow you to loot more on dead bodies. You have a chance to loot more. 54% is not 100%. That means, when you kill someone with necros, and you have your 3 active. You have 54% chance to pick another loot on the killed enemy. You can increase the radius for this ability, by putting range mods. That ability is a drain, that means if you kill 2 people, and the energy cost per enemy is 15, you gonna lose 30 energy for more loots on those enemies. But you can change that by putting a syndicate mod, which allow you to use your health instead of your energy. And this is very good for us, because of Necro's passive. Which is, Necro's restore 5 health for every enemy death within 10 meters. This passive, synergize very good with Necro's augment mods. You don't have to let activate your 3 every time, you can turn it off if you want to. Now, his 4. The second one ability which is very powerful. His 4 allow him to resurrect bodies, as I say earlier. So what the shadows do? Well, they attack enemies and they protect you. You need strength for this ability, because strength give damage reduction for you, and boost the damage of your shadows. You need 214% strength to achieve 90% damage reduction with your shadows. The strength give it your shadows, damage multiplier, health multiplier, shield multiplier. So it is definitely good to put this strength. When you put that 214% you have, 4.21x damage multiplier, 3.14x health and shield multiplier. That means they strong. They gonna stay a lot because they have a lot of life too. They disappear when their lives come to zero. This is why the second stat you gonna need is, duration of course. More duration, mean your shadows stay longer. You can resurrect 7 enemies at the same time. I think we done for the abilities, now it's time for the build. Alright guys, this build is pretty much for all content. First, we have vitality, nothing crazy there, just for some health. After we got prime continuity, for more duration on your shadows. With this mod, you can have between 40 to 50 second shadows with you. Next we have, health conversion. This mod is just too good, when you pick a health orb that give you 450 armor, and that stack until 3 times. That means you can have 1350 armor buff, just by running and taking those health orbs. When you take damage, one stack is consumed after 3 seconds. But don't worry, you are all time with this armor buff. Next mod is shield of shadows, this is a syndicate mod. This mod allow you to have more damage reduction, yes, this is possible. Each shadow within 50 meters, take 6% damage of the damage done to Necros in his stead. That means, they took the damage for you, if they are in the 50 meters range. Pretty amazing augment for his 4 now we have another syndicate mode, but for his 3. Despoil, this mod allow you to use your health, instead of your energy for your 3 which is more loots. That mean when you kill an enemy, and you want more loot on his dead body, that will take 10 health per body. That's very good, because we don't have energy and we don't need it. Be careful, sometimes you run pretty low health, if for example you have a Siren, if you have your 3 active, and you have a lot of range on it. You gonna lose health, but the bodies are too far away for picking health orbs they left. So be careful who are on your squad, honestly this is why I got 145% range too. Anyway if you have this problem, just turn it off, pick up some orbs and then active it again. Next we have a classic. Blind Rage. This mod is here for, more strength for his 4 only. You don't need a lot of efficiency, because you are every time full energy. You can max it without problems. 
Next mode is stretch, more range mean for potential loots from your 3 so a little of range is not bad. You have almost 37 meters radius, just with stretch. I think this is enough, if you want more you can go full range too, but this build is not made for this. Next mod is one off the most important of all Necro's builds, Equilibrium. This mod, give you more energy when you pick health, and give more health when you pick energy. This is why, you are full energy every time with Necro's. This is why you don't need energy mods. And you pick a lot of health too, which is very good for our augment that take our health. So this mod synergize very good with Necro's again. A must have, simply amazing mod. For the Exilus mod, I use Power Drift. Just because of that 15% ability strength, and 30% chance to resist knockdown which is not bad. For the Ori mod, I highly suggest you don't put a Forma on him. When you don't put a Forma on it, you are free to use whatever you want. Even if Corrosive Projection is one of the best aura right now, sometimes if you are with some friends, and they want a specific auras, you can change it without problems. Now the weapons you need to use with Necros. You need a high slash weapon, like Gram, Broken War, Paracesis. Of course you can use guns too, or secondary. Why you need high slash damage? Because off more parts off dead bodies, when you have slash damage you have chance to cut the bodies in two parts or more. That means if you have more dead bodies parts, you will have more potential loots. And that is not something you need to forget, with a loot lord. Now for the operator, I suggest Naraman school if you have it because you don't need energy on necros. With Naraman you can keep you combo very high, and that is very good for a lot of damage. If you play a heavy attack build, go for Zenuric because of one of his passive, Inner Might which give you 60% heavy attack efficiency all time. Alright guys, I think that's it for this video. If you find it informative, don't forget to hit that like button. I will see you in the next video, thank you so much for watching. Bye.